It can be really hard to get gifts for cyclists because we're extremely picky because we have our own specific preferences for all of our bike gear. But if you're on a budget and you want to get the cyclist in your life a thoughtful gift, here are my top 10 gifts for cyclists under $50 and heck, most of these are under $30. For lightweight bikes made out of top shelf steel, check out our channel sponsor Wobby Cycles, link at the top of the description. What's up, I'm Zach Alardo. life is short but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous, and subscribe for more fixed gear and cycling videos just like this one every Thursday and Saturday at 6pm Pacific. And of course all the gift ideas we'll talk about today will be linked in the description, feel free to check those out at any point during this video. Our number 10 gift idea for around $20 is a really sick bottle cage. A lot of cyclists have bottle cages on their bikes, but they tend to be strictly utilitarian. But this is a missed opportunity for customization. So consider getting your loved one a decorative bottle cage. PDW has the Sparrow Cage, the Owl Cage, and the Lucky Cat Cage for varying degrees of eccentricity. I personally really like the Sparrow Cage since I'm a sucker for birds and minimalist design, and I think that it looks so good that I even just keep one up here on the shelf just to decorate and be part of the video. If the cyclist in your life is more of a no-nonsense type of person, there's the stainless steel king bottle cage, which is probably the classiest bottle cage, and will be sure to add some pizzazz to their bill. At number nine, for around 10 to $15 is what goes in the bottle cage. The bottle. Sports bottles are almost always useful. In my experience, I need to get a couple every year because the caps tend to leak after a couple of seasons. Your loved one will always need to be hydrated both on and off the bike, so a sports bottle will be a very useful gift. Pierce bottles are probably the most popular sports bottle. They don't taste like plastic and they hold water just fine. On top of that, there's a whole smorgasbord of decorative and novelty Pierce bottles, ranging from sunscreen and Benadryl to SpongeBob and everything else in between. But then again, if the cyclist in your life is more of a no-nonsense type of person, I use a Camelback Podium water bottle. It's black, it's affordable on Amazon, and it has a locking nozzle that is a lot easier to clean than purest bottles. But having hot tea or coffee on those freezing winter rides, or ice-cold water on those sweltering summer rides is a godsend and just makes cycling a lot more enjoyable. For around $30 to $50, an insulated water bottle will allow your loved one to take their favorite beverage at the ideal temperature on their rides. Some good options include the Clean Canteen, the Hydro Flask, and my favorite, the Zojirushi Thermos. This thing insulates insanely well, almost too well. It works so well that I put boiling hot water here when I go to sleep so I can have water ready for my morning cup of tea, and it's still hot enough to brew. And filling this thing up with tea on those really cold rides literally makes me feel all warm inside. We all know that cyclist that just refuses to use fenders on those really rainy rides and ends up getting themselves and anybody riding behind them soaking wet. For around $20 with the Universal Ass Savers Fender Bender, keep them and anyone else riding with them dry and happier on their rides. But if the cyclist in your life prefers to stay indoors during the winter months, consider getting them a couple of cycling books to cozy up with. Just Ride by Grant Peterson is a radically practical guide to riding your bike and I would say that it definitely lives up to that title. I really wish that I had this book when I started cycling so I wouldn't have to make a whole lot of mistakes. This book is chock full of the best practices for cycling that make riding more fun and safer. Bike Snob is a tongue-in-cheek commentary on cycling culture. This book is painfully self-aware and is genuinely a funny and entertaining read. You can pick up both of these books on Amazon for around five to six dollars. Now I normally don't recommend getting tools as a gift since there's so many variables, but I'm willing to make one exception and that is the PDW 3 Rencho for around $20. If your loved one's bike has axle nut wheels instead of quick releases, this is hands down the best wrench that you can get them. It's a cleverly designed wrench and tire lever combo where the wrench and the handle are angled to give you the optimal leverage for working on those axle nuts. The balanced weight combined with the hard plastic casing just gives this tool a really nice feel in the hand and just holding it makes me want to start working on some nuts. Don't take that out of context. And for around $20, you can get your loved one the gift that you hate as a kid but love as an adult, socks. 
specifically merino wool socks. Merino wool is almost magical in that it can stay cool during the summer while still being warm in the winter. It wicks moisture away from the body so it won't stink like a lot of other materials, making them perfect for keeping feet comfortable and clean feeling during both humid summers and wet winters. But don't neglect the hands either. Cycling in the colder months is really tough on the hands since the knuckles are taking the full brunt of that chilling breeze. So at number three on our list, consider getting them a nice set of gloves. I can't recommend a specific set of gloves because that largely depends on the weather conditions your loved one will be riding in, but choose a pair of gloves according to how warm, water resistant, and wind resistant they need to be. At number two on our list is the humble cycling cap. They keep the sun, rain, and sweat out of your eyes during rides, and at least for me, they keep my hair more in check. If your loved one does wear cycling caps, it's nice to have a few on hand because they can get really gross after as little as one ride. Plus, there's tons Tons of designs to choose from so your loved one can proudly represent anything from their favorite bike brand to their favorite beer brand. I wear a cotton pace cycling cap because it was affordable on Amazon, is a solid color, and has no visible logos, and it does its job. Cycling caps range from anywhere from $15 to $20 or $40 and up if you want to get a custom cycling cap in case you can't find a design and material choice that your loved one would like most. And number one on our list, you've probably already considered it is an Amazon gift card. Shopping for someone else's hobby is always risky, and an Amazon gift card is always a safe bet. With it, they can get whatever they want to suit their unnecessarily specific wants and needs. An Amazon gift card will be greatly appreciated, but you just won't seem as thoughtful. Question of the day, what are some gift ideas that you have for cyclists that cost $50 or less? They can be either cycling specific or just generally useful for cyclists. Let me know in the comments. Speaking of things that are useful for cyclists, our channel sponsor Wobby Cycles has lightweight bikes with buttery smooth and lively ride qualities that only top shelf steel can bring. It is hands down the nicest riding bike that I've ever ridden and that makes it especially easy to ride my Wobby Special as my daily bike. Wobbies are spec'd with no nonsense but high performing components that even a bike snob such as myself can't bring myself to upgrade because it would be more of a side grade if I replaced the components. Most of the stock components are just that solid. So if you're looking for your end all be all bike for street riding, check out our channel sponsor Wobby Cycles linked at the top of the description. And if you've already ridden your bike today, consider watching our top gift ideas for fixed gear cyclists for $100 or less. But if you haven't ridden your bike yet today, stop watching me right now and ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous, even if it is just on the rollers.